So long story short, we do ugly Christmas sweater. We've done that for many, many years at work. And at first it was trying to come up with the ugliest sweater. And then that got kind of old and kind of ridiculous on my part. <clears throat> um, but then I decided last year, instead of going the ugly Christmas sweater route, I would just go with making my own concept for a sweatshirt that deals with combining two things that I love, which is Christmas movies and some sort of sci-fi, which in this case is Star Wars. Here is my submission for this year. I don't know if you can read what they are saying, but in this case, it is a mashup of a Christmas story and a Star Wars, of course. Yay for holiday season. I, I actually need to stop and say this. And I'm gonna twist it a little bit. And I'm sure there is a saying like this, but with wisdom, comes great responsibility. And you're gonna get some wisdom right now and you're gonna get to know yourself a little bit better and you're gonna, there, you're gonna have to be a little bit of responsible for that information. And that's scary because if you know that you're doing this stuff and you're saying these like untruths because you don't even know that you're saying these untruths, it's like, it's it's a crisis. It's an identity crisis. It's like what it what the heck is going on? I thought I was this person and maybe I'm not this person. Maybe I'm not this chaotic and crazy person that I thought I was. Or maybe I'm not this collected and calm and controlled person I thought I was because that's what our brain does to us. <laughs> our brain will lie to us. And so what we get to be is these lie detectors. So yes, you'll start hearing it in other people and to see the human condition out there, it's just, it's there, it's out there. But then also to hear it come out of your own mouth and you'll start noticing it as you start picking up on these, these kind of patterns. It's a matter of really trying to understand and be honest with yourself about what you take responsibility for but if that is where you're having a hard time still distinguishing, which completely understandable because it is hard, but this second aspect of savior versus demon, emotional states, I've actually seen a lot of it in when I'm having to edit the videos that I'm making here, I'll notice something. And sometimes I'll even put something on the screen because it's like, oh my gosh, because in the moment you're not even realizing it, but as you like reflect, I'm sure other people will notice, but maybe you, you yourself didn't notice in the moment, but afterwards it's like, oh wow, totally see it. And, and that's why sometimes it's good to make a video yourself and just start talking and start getting really personal and out there and emotional and, and maybe you don't want to show anybody and that's okay, but if you show yourself and I know it's really hard, trust me, everybody says it, but listening and looking at yourself and the whole thing is just all awkward in itself. But if you gave yourself a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! To listen to what you had to say, you'll start noticing the changes yourself. That is all that we have for this week when we talk about saviors and demons. We all have these imbalances in our life and it's caused by the overvaluing of some aspects of our personality and undervaluing the others. And so I hope that, oh, maybe I should actually share um, what I, so I have mentioned it in a video before, but I will mention it again that I think if you're still trying to figure out what your personality type is, um, it is kind of helpful sometimes to ask other people because sometimes they might have some feedback that you may not consider. Go to people that you rely and trust. It might be helpful to get from them where are voids, what are some voids that you're leaving in your life? Um, what are some areas that they feel like they have to pick up the slack? I hope that you learned a little bit more about it. Join me next time when we look at something different and I will see you then. Goodbye. <clears throat> I just don't know how to end it without being awkward. <laughs>